okay a very very good afternoon everybody and welcome to jc academy and uh, i hope you guys are doing great aap sabhi ko makar sankranti ki bahut bahut badhai lohri ki bhi bahut bahut badhai aasha karta hu aap sabhi acche hain ek bar uh, confirm karenge agar audio video sab kuch durust hai if the audio video av everything is okay a quick confirmation would be really really helpful so if you can kindly confirm whether the audio video everything is okay and you can hear me loud A couple of students were saying, "Sir, volume was low in the previous session. So, if you can somehow tell me if the volume is okay or not, so that uh, we can get started. And if that is the case, we can fine tune the volume and everything else right now. So that can be done right away. And uh, if everything is fine, do let me know. We can get started." चलो जी सो लेट मी से हेलो टू ऑल दोस ऑफ जॉइन सो शंभुनाथ वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून पुनीत जी गुड आफ्टरनून हिमानी वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून अंकित वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून कुणाल वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून नितिश ठाकुर वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून जितेंद्र जी नमस्कार जी नमस्कार कैसे हैं एंड एवरीथिंग इज ओके ऑडियो वीडियो इज ओके जितेंद्र जी सिंह सर एवरीथिंग इज ओके थैंक यू सो वेरी मच चलो जी सो व्हाट इज द एक्शन प्लान एक्शन प्लान इज वेरी सिंपल वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद सेशन नंबर 3 एज प्रॉमिस्ड सो दिस इज गोना बी द सेशन नंबर 3 ऑफ आवर जर्नी टुवर्ड्स प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द अपकमिंग आईबीपीएस एसओ मार्केटिंग मेंस एग्जामिनेशन एंड लाइक ऑलवेज वी विल स्टिक टू इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी बोथ दोनों ही भाषाओं का उपयोग करेंगे अगर आपको कहीं भी लगता है कि मैंने कोई बात अंग्रेजी में बोल दी आपको नहीं समझ में आया तुरंत टोक दीजिएगा इन इफ एट ऑल यू फील दैट आई स्पोकन समथिंग इन हिंदी विच यू फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड प्लीज डू लेट मी नो डू नॉट हेजिटेट टू पिन पॉइंट राइट थैंक यू सो वेरी मच एंड सर इस क्वेश्चन में कंफ्यूजन है क्या आएगा इसका आंसर तो पता नहीं क्या लिखा हुआ तुमने मेरे भाई गुड आफ्टरनून सर आई डेंट रिसीव एनी रिप्लाई रिगार्डिंग पेड क्लास राजेश पेड क्लास रिगार्डिंग व्हाट यू डिड यू पुट अ चार्ट और समथिंग पेड क्लास का सारा लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन uh, में हो जाएगा सो इफ यू वांट टू ज्वाइन अ पेड क्लास राजेश कुमार जी आई वुड अप्रिशिएट इफ यू कैन गो थ्रू द डिस्क्रिप्शन द नंबर विल आल्सो बी फ्लैश्ड इन द मीन टाइम यू कैन कॉल डायरेक्टली ऑन दैट नंबर एज वेल रिफर्स टू द नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर्स और परसेंटेज ऑफ द टोटल कस्टमर्स हुज रिपोर्टेड एक्सपीरियंस विद द फर्म इट्स एक्सीड स्पेसिफाइड एक्सपेक्टेशन गोस सक्षम ऑप्शंस भी शेयर कर देना और एक बारी चार्ट में क्या कहते हैं मेरे को डाउट पूरा का पूरा क्वेश्चन भेज देना बिकॉज मेनी अ टाइम्स फॉर मी टू अंडरस्टैंड दी कंटेक्स्ट इज आल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट राइट उसी चीज के अलग अलग मायने अलग अलग मतलब भी निकलते हैं सो आई वुड अप्रिशिएट इफ यू कैन सेंड मी दी ऑप्शन ऑन दी मोबाइल फोन वहाँ पर मैं तसली से देखते उसको आंसर के संग संग आपको एक ऑडियो एक्सप्लेनेशन भी दे दूंगा राइट शॉर्ट टर्म प्राइसिंग एंड प्रमोशनल प्राइसिंग में क्या डिफरेंस है तो समर्थ प्रमोशनल प्राइसिंग इज अ टाइप ऑफ अ शॉर्ट टर्म प्राइसिंग so when you do sales promotion the objective here is to increase or boost sales for a short term period because you cannot keep on giving discounts for the long term you cannot keep on incentivizing the trade and the consumers for a long term so isile uh, isko hum promotional pricing is is basically done for short term promotion right so short term pricing is pricing which is there for only a short time period सर मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस क्वेश्चंस कहाँ पे पढ़े अरे मैं पढ़ाऊंगा चिंता मत करिए आई एम वर्किंग ऑन दैट आल्सो सो द मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस क्वेश्चंस मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस का पीडीएफ भी आएगा क्वेश्चंस भी आएगा बट टू टू टेल यू वेरी फ्रैंकली डू नॉट एक्सपेक्ट मोर देन वन और टू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस सो डू नॉट बी वेरी मच बॉर्डर्ड अबाउट मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस कि आपको छूट गया है तो जो आपका फोमो है फोमो समझते हैं फोमो फियर ऑफ मिसिंग आउट जिससे हम बैंड वैगन इफेक्ट भी कहते हैं मार्केटिंग में तो भैया इससे मत परेशान होइए मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस से कुछ बहुत ज्यादा भारी भरकम आपसे नहीं पूछे जाने वाला एक या दो क्वेश्चन अगर आ गए आप अगर आपके आंख और कान खुले होते हैं तो आप आसानी से आंसर कर सकते हैं राइट सो अच्छा अब अब आप सभी का अगर आज्ञा हो तो कैन वी गेट स्टार्ट विद दिस सेशन आई थिंक आई एड्रेस इफ यू क्वेरी शुड बी गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विद क्वेश्चन आज धुआं उड़ा धुआं 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 कर देंगे सी माई ओनली इंटेंशन इज टू गिव यू अ राउंडेड प्रैक्टिस राइट तो कभी बहुत कठिन क्वेश्चन भी दूंगा तो कभी मैं मॉडरेट क्वेश्चन भी दूंगा आइडिया इज टू गिव यू अ राउंडेड प्रैक्टिस राइट बिकॉज नो बडी कैन टेल वेदर द एग्जामिनेशन इज गॉन बी डिफिकल्ट मॉडरेट और इजी ऑल दी पॉसिबिलिटीज रिमेन यू कैन ऑल्सो फेस इजियर क्वेश्चन मॉडरेट क्वेश्चन एंड डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन सो यू शुड बी प्रैक्टिसिंग अक्रॉस ऑल द डिफिकल्टी लेवल्स एंड दैट इज दी बेस्ट स्ट्रैटेजी वी कैन अडॉप्ट राइट चलो जी 
तो आगे बढ़ते हैं एंड लेट अस मूव इफ यू आर ओके एक बार थम्स अप करके यस कर दीजिएगा एंड यस दर इज अ मटीरियल अवेलेबल फॉर इंटरनल प्रमोशन फॉर स्केल टू एंड स्केल थ्री वी हैव अ डेडिकेटेड कोर्स यू कैन लुक फॉर अ कोर्स विच इज फॉर टू मंथ्स एंड दैट इज दैट विल बी सफिशियंट आई थिंक I have seen your text, so I'll be sending you the link for that course as well. Do not worry. Once I'm through with the session, I'll personally send the link to you on the on the application. Don't worry. Sorted. Chalo ji. Uh, chalo. So I think everybody is all set now. Let us go to the question number thirty-five. Now let us try and answer the questions. We have already done thirty-four questions so far, and in this session, we will be taking from thirty-five questions, thirty-five number onwards, right? So let's have a look at question number thirty-five first. Have a look, please. to respond effectively and provide value delivery the company requires dash to integrate major business processes that is order processing general ledger payroll and production within a single family of software modules so what is being discussed over here so to respond effectively and provide value delivery the company requires what to integrate major business processes So it is talking about business processes like processing orders, like uh, entering the general ledgers, managing payrolls and production, which within a single family of software modules. So within a family of software modules, which uh, system is going to be really really helpful? Question number thirty-five. Now options are coming. Human resource nahi hoga because you're talking about general ledger also and orders also. Internal auditing bhi nahi hoga because you're talking about payroll production as well strategic management it is not the option why because you not planning we are trying to effectively and provide value delivery and marketing is out of question because you not talking only about marketing we talking about all internal source management so yahan par internal internal resource management would be the correct answer because we are trying to explore how we can basically you know have a better control over the internal resources so internal resource management happens to be the correct answer option c very good chalo ji so now uh, let's let's uh, let's talk about next question question number 36 here it comes successful marketing requires having capability such as understanding dash creating customer value delivering customer value capturing customer value and sustaining customer value So it starts with what dash, and then you create, and then you deliver, and then you capture, and then you eventually sustain. So what should come slightly before creating? Think in that this direction. Customer value create करने से पहले what should be the agenda? Customer loyalty, customer perks, customer retention, customer value, and customer benefits. So question number thirty six. What should be the correct answer? Now see logically if you see. you can only create a value once you've understood customer value what is it that the customers want what is it that the customers are willing to pay for customer value will come here so you understand what drives the customers needs what is the value that they are looking for aur uske hisab se you can create deliver capture and then sustain so that is the entire process very good you guys are champions customer benefits nahi aayenge bacche बेनिफिट थोड़ा सा नैरो अप्रोच हो गया वैल्यू इज द सम टोटल ऑफ वट एवर दी प्रोडक्ट दी सर्विस टू ऑफर राइट सो अ ब्रॉडर परस्पेक्टिव टू लुक एट वॉट कस्टमर्स नीड एंड हाउ यू कैन सेटिस्फाइज दैल्यू कंसेप्ट राइट नॉट ओनली दी बेनिफिट चलो जी लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स ऑल डन लेट्स गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन द डैश लेज आउट दी टारगेट मार्केट्स एंड दी वैल्यू प्रपोजिशन दैट विल बी ऑफर्ड based on an analysis of the best market opportunities so now dash lays out the target markets and the value proposition that will be offered based on the analysis of the best marketing practices so it says have a look at the target markets also try and understand what is the value proposition that you are trying to deliver and keeping into mind the opportunities available in the markets so you basically trying to align these three so what should come in this place organizational plan strategic marketing plan corporate tactical plan a corporate mission or a corporate value statement question number 37 i think you guys are champions 
very soon you should be positive, be positive, be positive that the examination results are going to be announced soon. Probably in the next 24, 25, 23, 25, 24 to 30 hours you will get the results. So, let us be positive for a positive result. Okay, be positive. Chalo ji. So, a B is the correct answer. Strategic marketing plan is the correct answer because you are trying to look at it from a marketing perspective and you are trying to, when you put pieces together and you know connecting the dots is all about strategy, strategizing right. So, B is the correct answer. Let us go to question number 38. Now, in which of the following plans would we most likely find directions for implementing and addressing daily challenges and opportunities in product features, promotional, merchandising, pricing, sales channels and the service areas. So, what is to be done on a day to day basis or on a daily basis? So, when I say daily, it basically means very short term or it is basically done on a regular basis, right? So, try and uh, join these words with the thought process. Iske sang milane ki koshish karein ki yaha par kya aega. Chali, uh, I think uh, everybody now has a hang of it. 38 ka answer aana shuru hua hai. Pranay is saying A, Pankaj is saying A and uh, others are saying A, 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 A. Perfectly fine. B kyo aara hai? The target marketing plan, bache see the target marketing plan nahi hoga. I have already given you the highlighted keyword over here is you are basically trying to do it on a daily basis. So, it is basically a tactical marketing plan. If you are trying to fine tune something, if you are trying to improve the process, it will be operational. If you are trying to take decisions on a day to day basis, that will be tactical. If it is for a long term, for the future, that should be strategic in nature, right? So, strategy, strategy generally pertains to futuristic and long term approach. Tactical basically relates to your day-to-day -day activities, something which is to be done more of in a routine, something which is done in a very short term, that is tactical. Operational uh, plan is into getting into details. Kis tarike se karenge, kaise karenge, how do you intend to inc increase the productivity, efficiency of a system? So These three concepts have to be understood, right? Give me a yes in case you have understood the explanation. Tactical or uh, operational or strategic, thoda sa agar aapko Ab clarity aa gai hai, to give me a yes so that we can move to the question number 39. Okay, I think uh, it's okay. Chali, Hanji, thank you so much. Bilkul, kisi bhi match mein tactics hoti hai, wo si samay ke liye, wo si scenario ko dekhte hai, hum tactics karte hai, hat kande abnate hai, so that is what it is. Chalo, let's move on to uh, the next question, question number 39. Just give me one sec. Chale ji, 39 aate hai. If you wanted to find out more about target markets of the organization's value proposition, which of the following types of plans would most likely contain information that might be useful to you in your quest? Quest means aapka jo bhi aap karna cha rahe hai uske liye. So, yaha par kya hoga answer if you can tell me. If you wanted to find out more about target markets, organize it value propositions which are most likely you know uh, most likely containing information so yahan par kis cheez ke bare mein baat ho rahi hai marketing plan ke bare mein baat ho rahi hai are we talking about an organizational plan are we talking about a strategic marketing plan or are we talking about a tactical marketing plan or are we talking about the marketing mix plan question number 39 yes अब आपको समझ में आ गया यहां पर भी स्ट्रेटजिक मार्केटिंग प्लान का ही बात हो रहा है दिस बेसिकली क्लियरली डिपिक्ट्स द वे वी इंटेंड टू स्ट्रेटजाइज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू व्हाट इज द टारगेट मार्केट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू प्रपोजिशन एंड इट इज अगेन अबाउट कनेक्टिंग द डॉट्स दैट गिव्स यू अ बेटर पिक्चर ऑफ फ्यूचर थैंक यू सो वेरी मच चलो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर 40 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स मोस्ट क्लोजली मैचेस टू द शेयर्ड एक्सपीरियंसेस stories, beliefs and norms that characterize an organization. So, within an organization, we are talking about shared experiences, stories, beliefs and norms that characterize an organization. So, we are we talking about organizational dynamics, are we talking about a business mission, are we talking about an ethical value statement. Are we talking about customer relationships or are we talking about 
corporate culture. Patika Anjane, uh, sorry, Anjana is saying E, Mukul is saying C, Suruchi is saying E, Aniket is saying G, Vishesh is saying E, uh, Anik, uh, Ankit is saying C. So, a lot of confusion between C and E. Now, let me come down to it. Now, this topic is not pertaining to marketing. Ye marketing se directly pertain nahi karta hai. But yes, this topic is very important. Why? This topic, if you have organizational behavior, padha hoga, wahan pa you must have read about the organization's culture and organization's climate. So, culture basically comes from the collective feeling or the shared experiences or the beliefs that people generally have for the organization, right? So, now we can't have dynamics here, business mission can't be done because we are not talking about customers, so customer relationship can't be done. Now, try and understand, there was a close call between C and E, agreed, an ethical value statement. Now, here, had we been speaking about ethics, morals, और the value system at large तो फिर ये इससे बिल्कुल relate करता but she try and understand इस पूरे tone को पढ़ो it is all about their experiences stories and beliefs so it is not talking about what is doable what is not doable what is good what is bad what is to be ethical what is not what is acceptable what is not acceptable if it was more to do with how or what is the right method of running the organization or what is the view of the organization when it comes to identifying the right and the wrong, then it could have certainly been towards ethical and value system. But since we are not talking about ethics and values over here, we talk about the collective feeling of the people, of the organizational employees, how they experience, how they see, how they believe and what are the norms that they basically follow. Collectively, it's basically the corporate culture, right? So that's how you understand a corporate culture and option E is the correct answer. I think that explains to all those who have an option C as an answer. Why C is not an answer and why E is an answer. I think that clarifies a lot. So let's, let's move on to the next question. Keep giving me a thumbs up or a yes in case you're understanding what I'm trying to explain. So now we about brand extension. Now this is a very important concept. I want everybody to be very, very careful when it comes to anything to do with branding and product and pricing. Bhar bhar ke questions aate hain services se, branding se, product se aur pricing se. Bhar bhar ke questions aapke aate hain. Almost 60 mein se aapke 15 se 20 questions to kahi nahi gaye jo aapke product related, pricing related, branding related aur services se related aayenge. 15 se 20 questions to definitely every year come from these concepts. So please have a quick uh, read and just let me know what is the correct answer in this particular case. 41, what could be the correct answer? So just give me a sec. Okay. So brand extension involves what? Introducing a new product under the same brand name, diversifying into completely unrelated product category, merging with another company to expand brand reach, launching a private label product or a specific retailer, Reducing the number of products offered under the brand. So, if you are reducing the number of products offered would be pruning. Launching a private label would be a white label or a store brand. Merging with another company to explain brand reach. Simple merger, right? Diversifying. So, the khud hi bol diya, it is basically in diversification. So, diversifying is when you are talking about unrelated and specifically when it is unrelated diversification it is generally termed as conglomerate diversification right so that is again not the answer so introducing a new product under the same brand name so maggi is a brand name generally it was used for noodles but then if you have another brand of you have another product of a soup so maggi noodles and maggi soup so what have you done you extended this brand from one kind of a product to another kind of a product that is soup. So, that is how brand extension can be seen. Option A is absolutely correct. That was the easy one. Yes, so some easy ones are also there. So, do not worry. 
we'll also have some difficult ones coming around the corner don't worry so a common reason for companies to engage in new product development is ah, so now let's have a look why companies engage into npd or a new product development what is the common reason behind that so uh, reaching saturation in their existing markets apne existing markets mein saturation ho gaya fulfilling all customer needs with their current offerings jo bhi current offering hai usse hum sari ki sari customer needs ko fulfill karenge focusing solely on the cost reduction and efficiency hum cost reduction karna chahte hain efficiency badhana chahte hain isliye bhi hum naye product ke sang aaye hain avoiding any innovation or risk taking hum risk you know risk innovation or risk taking ko avoid karna chahte hain and we respond solely to competitors actions question number 42 what would be the correct answer now somebody is saying b pankaj is saying b vikas is saying b nitish is saying b and only uh, himani is saying a what about others easy one meena is saying saying b ankit is saying b wow wow, wow. everybody is saying b okay bhai mere please try and understand if you are already able to fulfill with the current offering जो भी आप अभी बना रहे हो प्रोडक्ट उससे आप फुलफिल ही कर रहे हो तो नया लाने की जरूरत क्या है ओके सो व्हाट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग समथिंग न्यू इफ यू रियली एबल टू सेटिस्फाई द नीड्स विद द करंट ऑफरिंग सो दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली इनकरेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए नो ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड हमारे पास एक प्रोडक्ट है वी हैव अ प्रोडक्ट एंड समहाउ वी फील दैट वी आर नॉट एबल टू एड्रेस द नीड्स ऑफ द मार्केट्स कंप्लीटली और फुली something is being missing ya fir ab jo de rahe hain customers want something extra consumers want something different consumer want something new and that is why we are trying to see that okay the product is reaching saturation they are no more intrigued they are no more attracted towards the offering of the product because it is somehow saturated right so the idea is we are reaching saturation in the existing market and because of it we want to come up with a new product why because you want to retain market shares you don't want to let go the consumers kya bolte hain customer defection kya bolte hain customer churn ye hame avoid karna hai taki koi chhod ke dusre product ki taraf na chala jaye to usko hum isse pehle ke he shifts the shifts to some other product jo ki uska problem achhi tarike se solve kare humko hi we have to come up with a new product and this is what the thought process is now यहाँ पर कॉस्ट रिडक्शन एंड एफिशिएंसी इज आल्सो अ रीजन बट सोली दिस बीइंग द ओनली रीजन इज नॉट द केस राइट तो सोली का मतलब है दिस बीइंग ओनली द ओनली बीइंग द रीजन कि भाई हमें कॉस्ट कम करना है एफिशिएंसी तो नहीं होएगा ये होता है वी आल्सो इंप्रूव द प्रोडक्ट हम नया प्रोडक्ट लेके आते हैं बिकॉज हमको वो कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव पड़ता है एफिशिएंसी ज्यादा बढ़ जाती दैट इज डन बट ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दैट यू डू इट दैट इज नॉट द केस सो ए इज द आंसर राइट बिल्कुल बढ़िया बिल्कुल बढ़िया ई भी तो हो सकता है फिर से वही बात है सोलली क्या आप केवल कॉम्पिटिटर एक्शन के हिसाब से लेके आओगे नो दिस कैन नॉट बी ओनली रीजन सोलली इज रिटेन टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज नॉट द ओनली रीजन दिस कुड बी एडिशनल फैक्टर्स बट दिस इज अ मेजर रीजन बिहाइंड पीपल लुकिंग फॉर अव प्रोडक्ट दिस इज द मेजर रीजन दीज आर ऑल्सो द रीजन बट दॉट द ओनली रीजन दैट इज वाई आई मैं सोलली ओवर एयर एक्सप्लेन्स शंभुनाथ विद इज दैट ओके समझ में आया चलो जी थैंक यू सो मच लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री द कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट लाइन रेफर्स टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट लाइन रेफर टू सो इन अवे इट इज आस्किंग वट डू मीन बाय प्रोडक्ट लाइन इज इट अ ग्रुप ऑफ क्लोजली रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट ऑफर्ड बाय अ कंपनी अ सिंगल प्रोडक्ट विद डिफरेंट वेरिएशन और फीचर्स ये भी एक डेफिनेशन हो सकता है द सेट ऑफ अन रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट मार्केटेड अंडर द सेम ब्रांड प्रोडक्ट ऑफर्ड एट डिफरेंट प्राइस पॉइंट फॉर द सेम सेगमेंट अ कलेक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ब्रांड्स बताइए जी कलेक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री प्रोडक्ट ग्रुप ऑफ क्लोजली रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट ये सो दैट इज दी डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट लाइन वेरी गुड सो प्रोडक्ट लाइन इज क्लोजली रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट ऑफर्ड बाय अ कंपनी तो प्रोडक्ट लाइन जैसे के क्या हो गया प्रोडक्ट लाइन फॉर मिल्क अमूल का हर तरीके का मिल्क टोन्ड मिल्क डबल टोन मिल्क फुल क्रीम मिल्क दिस इन दैट राइट एंड यू कैन है प्रोडक्ट लाइन ऑफ 
थिंग्स लाइक सोप्स जैसे कि हमाम हो गया आपका लक्स हो गया लाइफ बॉय हो गया सारे के सारे क्लोज से रिलेटेड है <coughs> चलो जी ए सो दैट इज इजी एंड लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 44 सो व्हेन प्राइसिंग अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट कंपनीज शुड कंसीडर व्हाट सो व्हेन यू आर प्राइसिंग अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट व्हाट शुड बी कंसीडर्ड सेट द सेम प्राइस एज कंपटीटर्स रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट फोकस अगेन प्लीज पे अटेंशन सोलली ऑन मैक्सिमाइजिंग शॉर्ट टर्म प्रॉफिट्स analyze production costs target market preferences and the customers pricing relying solely on price promotions and discounts to attract customers ignoring the potential impact of the product on brand image and value proposition hame ignore karna hai product ka impact price ka brand image aur value perception pe bas kar dena hai what should be the common sensical logical answer over here ओके 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 एवरीबॉडी टेक्नोलॉजी बीटीएस प्रणय अंजना मनीष अंकित गौरव मीनल एवरीबॉडी सेइंग सी 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 हां जी सी ही है आपका प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट कॉस्ट से क्या मिलेगा जी फ्लोर प्राइसिंग आएगी याद आया फ्लोर एंड सीलिंग यस टारगेट मार्केट प्रेफरेंसेस मार्केट में क्या चल रहा है कस्टमर की प्राइसिंग और वैल्यू हमें एक तरीके से सीलिंग सेट करने में हेल्प करेगी and we can price somewhere in between so that is option number c is the correct answer chalo ji ek aur chotu motu easy sa question ab ye laddu questions aa rahe hain laddu questions coming your way i want everybody to pay attention right so customer relationship management crm involves what tracking customer interactions across all touch points personalizing marketing messages and offers providing excellent customer service and support all of the above or none of the above what is the correct answer chaliye ji hmm so the moment i said laddu question everybody is there laddu sir or all of these so sir sabhi mein aata hai so we'll go with all of the na nah, smart fellows chalo good hai good hai very good hai very good hai very good hai chalo now uh, let's go to question number 46 social media marketing allows companies to acha How many of you want me to come up with a session on digital marketing, जहाँ पर हम click through rate, cost per click और ये सारे के सारे terms को देख लेंगे, bounce rates और ये सारे के सारे terms को we can have a look and we'll do some numericals around that also. If you want me to come up with that, press the like button and say yes. So that we can come up with a session on digital marketing. I'll have some questions and numericals around digital marketing also, right? So if you want, we can do that as well. चलो जी यहाँ बताइए चलिए ठीक है done है जी boss done है will be done ठीक है कल plan a session तो अभी दो चीजें मैं करूँगा एक तो हम digital marketing के ऊपर एक session करेंगे that is one and another session we will do around session नहीं करूँगा मैं या तो PDF ही डाल दूँगा Telegram के इस channel पे आपका जो है क्या कहते हैं उसपे अच्छा जितने क्वेश्चंस मैं कर रहा हूँ ना इनका भी मैं पीडीएफ बना के टेलीग्राम में डाल दूंगा राइट तो ये हो जाएगा डू नॉट वरी वंस यू डन विद हंड्रेड क्वेश्चंस एक पूरा हंड्रेड क्वेश्चंस का बैटरी बना के मैं आई पुट इट ऑन द टेलीग्राम चैनल ये लिंक नीचे है इसको कर लेना सब्सक्राइब अगर नहीं कराए एंड नेक्स्ट वन विल बी अ सेशन ऑन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एंड द नेक्स्ट वन वुड बी अ सेशन और अ पी डी एफ ऑन मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस आई ऑल्सो हैव अ वेरी शॉर्ट सेशन ऑन वॉट टू स्टडी फॉर मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस हालांकि वी कैन नॉट प्रिडिक्ट कहाँ से क्या पूछ जा रहा है बट जो पिछले पास ट्रेंड्स हैं उसके बेसिस पे आई विल टेल यू व्हाट यू नीड टू स्टडी फॉर मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस तो उतना भी आई विल टेल यू बट डोंट बी वेरी मच बॉर्डर्ड विद मार्केटिंग अवेयरनेस कुछ बहुत ज्यादा आपको नहीं पढ़ना उसमें चलो जी क्वेश्चन नंबर ब्रांड इक्विटी पर न्यूमेरिकल ठीक है डन है क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी देखें जरा तो यहाँ पर भी ऑल ऑफ दब इज करेक्ट दिस एवरी थिंग यू नो इज डन इन सोशल मीडिया इट एंगेज कंज्यूमर विद टू वे कन्वर्सेशन it also brand brand communities and shares user generated content so people who are using the brand they will post like put some videos reviews and whatsoever and target specific demographics and interests effectively kyunki aap social media pe hain to aap bahut achhi tarike se demographic parameters pe targeting kar sakte hain chalo ji i think let's go to the next one question number 47 an example of a push strategy in distribution is what always remember there are two kinds of strategies push versus pull and we already had discussed a couple of questions around this in the previous uh, session 
So I want you to please apply some logic and let me know the answer for this question. Question number 47, it is asking, it is asking what? An example of a push strategy in distribution is what? A manufacturer selling directly to consumers online. A retailer offering exclusive products to certain customers. A wholesaler promoting a specific brand to retailers. Consumers searching for a product online and finding it on multiple platforms. A social media influencer recommending a product to their followers. Chalye. 47 ka some people are saying e some people are saying d some people are saying or yet to say some people are saying b achatrasadira mix now not try and understand pull is where we are trying ke bhai jab customer kharidne jaye when the customer goes to purchase something he talks about that brand right so that is a pull strategy so pull strategy wo nahi hota hai ke hum ये करें तो this will create pull this will in a way create a pull this also in a way will create a pull because this influencer is not a trade partner he is not a channel partner हमने इस बंदे को लिया है कि हमारे product के बारे में ये कुछ कर सकते just just give me one second just give me one second So, what you just saw was a classic example of interruption marketing. Now, if you have a man who has Amazon Flipkart, he has a lot of delivery. Since today being a Makar Sankranti, my office is closed, so you have to deliver it to some other place. He has a delivery, he has a code. <laughs> now, that is the problem. So, so that is that acts to some way or other towards interruption marketing. You are important work and you got constant phone calls coming. So, that is a classic example of interruption marketing. I thought I should be sharing it with you guys. Chaliye. So, here we were talking about push and pull. So, push is when you have your trade partners. Trade partners are your retailers or your wholesalers. And you try and tell them, okay boss, this is the product we need to push. We will give you incentive if you help us sell the product. Now, push uh, strategy also works for products where the differentiation is not big. It is also done for the products where the buying decision is generally made in the store when it comes to retailers pushing the product. So, push strategy can be applied by retailers also. It can be applied for wholesalers also. So, wholesalers can also push certain products and tell the retailers to buy a certain product instead of a certain other product right so so they are trying to push the product so the correct answer here should be option c a wholesaler is promoting a specific brand to the retailers and therefore that is option c give me a yes in case uh huh bilkul sahi so interruption marketing se bachne ke liye permission marketing our delivery karne aate ye nahi puchte kitne budget deliver karenge so agli baar ye bhi ho jayega ki sir kitne budget deliver karein taaki aapko moderation ho perfectly right तो देखो रियल लाइफ में ही हमने एक डेमो देखा और आपने फटाक से उस चीज को रिलेट कर लिया तो 47 का असी एवरीबॉडी इज ओके विद दैट रिजल्ट आएगा सोनी जी आएगा चिंता मत करिए आपने परीक्षा दी रिजल्ट आएगा ही आएगा सिक्का उछला नीचे तो गिरेगा ही गिरेगा हेड या टेल बस वही देखना बाकी है वो आ जाएगा चिंता मत करो चलो जी सो आई थिंक लेट्स लेट्स मूव अहेड राइट तो चलें गॉट इट तो सबको क्लियर है ये 47 का सी नाउ 49 uh, iske baad hum karenge apna wahi jo ritual humne set kara we will have a case study after that so uh, i ek moderate case study i have got it for you guys not a very difficult one like the previous time uh, dekhe zara question number 48 pehle karte hain a sustainable marketing approach focuses on so it basically talking about sustainable marketing approach so what does it basically uh, focus upon does it focus upon maximizing profits 
short term sales at any cost now see try and understand this is very polarizing statement ek kone mein le jati hai solely at any cost the only reason so your polarizing statement you have to be very careful they are hints balancing economical environmental and social considerations in the market practices ignoring the potential impact of the marketing activity so ye to bilkul hi opposite ho gaya so ye bhi ek eliminate kar sakte ye bhi prioritizing only ethical sourcing so prioritizing only again a polarizing statement focusing solely on promoting i think now you got the hang of this situation b is the correct answer chalo ji very good guys very good guys b is the correct answer chalo now uh, let's uh, go with the case study and before we go with the case study आप भी सर पूछ रहे थे कि फॉर प्रमोशन विच कोर्स कैन यू गो सो यू कैन गो विद दिस टू मंथ क्रैश कोर्स और वन मंथ क्रैश कोर्स आप इसके संग भी जा सकते हैं इन केस डिटेल्स आर देयर इन दी लिंक आल्सो नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन में मैंने डिटेल्स दे दी हैं एंड देर आर अदर थिंग्स आल्सो दैट यू कैन कंसिडर राइट वी हैव दी कम्प्लीट ऑफरिंग फॉर ऑल दी अवेलेबल कोर्सेज यू कैन हैव अ लुक यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक अ स्नैप रिजल्ट आज या कल आ जाएगा और अगर आपको कल तुरंत ही या आज ही तुरंत आपको चाहिए पड़ेगा कि नहीं आई शुड गेट अवे गेट स्टार्टेड विद कोर्स राइट अवे दिस इज दी बेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी क्योंकि अब 12-15 दिन में इट इज ऑलमोस्ट वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू कवर दी इंटायर सिलेबस थ्रू अ बुक और फिर आप क्वेश्चन भी इकट्ठे करें कोर्स में आपको सब कुछ ही मिल जाएगा राइट दिस इज दी ऑफरिंग आपके पास सारे ऑप्शन है प्लीज गो थ्रू इट डिटेल्स आर मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल चलो जी लेट इज गेट बैक टू बिजनेस चलो सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन टू फिफ्टी थ्री नाव यू हैव अस चलो फोर्टी परसेंट इज स्लाइटली डिफिकल्ट नाउ बिकॉज वी जनरली हैव अ वेरी फॉर प्रॉपर प्राइसिंग मेथड हमारा वी जनरली स्टिक टू अ सिंपल स्ट्रैटेजी और हमारा आदत नहीं है कि प्राइस को बहुत इन्फ्लेट करके फिर नीचे गिरा दिया जाए टू शो दी वैल्यू तो जो भी ऑनेस्ट प्राइसेज हैं तो वही आपको ऑफर किए गए हैं और दैट इज हाउ इट इज चलिए जी हाँ बिल्कुल टेस्ट सीरीज सेपरेट है ना बॉस एवरीथिंग इज देर देखो ये रहा टेस्ट सीरीज सब कुछ है नोट्स भी हैं टेस्ट सीरीज भी हैं वन मंथ भी है टू मंथ भी है वन ईयर भी है आप एवरीथिंग इज मैं आप देख रहे ना तसली से बाद में बैक करके वीडियो चलो सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अनारियो आई यू ऑल गुड फॉर दिस सिनारियो चलो तो नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस सिनारियो एंड ठीक है uh, अभी uh, मैं क्या ही बोलू चलो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस सिनारियो सिनारियो से इमेजिन यू वुड बी मार्केटिंग मैनेजर ऑफ एन फॉर ऑल इलेक्ट्रिक ब्रांड का नाम है ये किसका नाम है ये हमारे ब्रांड का नाम है या कंपनी का नाम है तो एक ऑल इलेक्ट्रिक एक कंपनी है अ न्यू स्टार्टअप ऑफरिंग अ रेवोल्यूशनरी इलेक्ट्रिक लॉन मोवर दैट एलिमिनेट्स नॉइस एमिशन एंड कॉड हैसल्स अब यहाँ पर द थिंग इज दैट आपने एक लॉन मोवर लेके आए हो आप लॉन मोवर क्या होते हैं घास वास की कटाई करने के लिए मशीन होते हैं और बड़े बड़े लॉन्स को मेंटेन करने के लिए चाहिए पड़ते हैं राइट सो नाउ दिनारियो इज दैट यूर अ मार्केटिंग मैनेजर ऑफ ऑल इलेक्ट्रिक and it is a new startup that is offering electric lawn mowers to wo machine wale nahi hai electric lawn mowers hain aur inka advantage kya hai ki these are eliminating noise noiseless hai almost koi dhua hua nahi hai koi emission nahi hai aur tar ka bhi jhanjhat nahi hai ki aapko tar chahiye aur bijli aap charge karke bhi chala sakte ho cord hassles bhi nahi hai so only one answer is correct in the mcq so choose the option that best aligns with all electrics marketing goals and target ma डाने जी शैल आई शो यू द क्वेश्चंस नाउ अब केस स्टडी के क्वेश्चंस देख लें क्या चलो सो हियर इज दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन ऑल इलेक्ट्रिक वॉन्ट्स टू सेगमेंट दी मार्केट फॉर इट्स इलेक्ट्रिक लॉन मोवर्स अब इनको सबसे पहले क्या करना है सेगमेंट करना है मार्केट को फॉर लॉन मोवर्स विच ऑफ दॉलोइंग फैक्टर इज लीस्ट रेलिवेंट फॉर सेगमेंटेशन इन दिस केस इनमें से कौन सा सबसे कम रेलिवेंट होगा Which of them is going to be the least relevant? <coughs> Batayye ji. Age of potential customers, size of the lawns, environmental consciousness, 
income levels urban and suburban living age of the potential lawn mowers okay age age now the correct answer maine aapko we had a similar uh, kind of a case study in the last uh, session and majority of you got majority of the answers incorrect and that is why i have to come up with a kind of a similar case study today again taki concept aapke dimag mein main bitha do try and understand again and again maine aapko kya bola tha segmenting targeting and then positioning तो सेगमेंटिंग जब आप करते हो तो आप एक वाइडर ऑडियंस को देखते हो यू बेसिकली टारगेटिंग अ साइजेबल चंक ऑफ द मार्केट राइट सो दिस विल नॉट गेट यू अ साइजेबल चंक ऑफ मार्केट एवरीथिंग एल्स विल गेट यू अ साइजेबल चंक ऑफ मार्केट दिस विल बी हेल्पफुल व्हेन यू आर बेसिकली मूविंग फ्रॉम सेगमेंटिंग टू टारगेटिंग or maybe when you are positioning the product you can focus upon this particular aspect give me a yes in case you understood last session mein bhi aap logo ne yahi mistake kiya tha to c hoga kyunki c mein aap ek sizable chunk nahi nikal paoge segmenting is major segments mein market ko tod dena isme se which segment can be best catered to or best aligns with the product is then we are talking about targeting and positioning right तो सेगमेंटिंग इज दी वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेज आप वहीं पर इतना सा मार्केट कर दोगे तो फिर आप आगे जाके क्या करोगे राइट तो ऑप्शन यहां पे क्या होगा सी हा गेटिंग इट तो आई थिंक बात समझ में आया दिस इज वाई दिस इज वाई आई टू कम अप विद दिस पर्टिकुलर आंसर नाउ वॉट आई हैव डन टूडे इज आई हैव ऑल्सो हैव एन एक्सप्लेनेशन नाउ ताकि वंस यू आर लाइक रिवाइजिंग दिस वीडियो So, मैं यहाँ पे एक्सप्लेनेशन भी फ्लैश कर दिया मैंने आपको समझा तो दिया ही है बट आपको बात समझ में आ गया तो यह पढ़ लेना बाद में एक्सप्लेनेशन इज देयर फॉर केस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आल्सो चलो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन नाउ दिस इज अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन अब थोड़ा सा यहाँ पर आपको ध्यान से देखना पड़ेगा हाँ लीस्ट रेलिवेंट पूछा है एंड दैट इज वाई ए नहीं होगा All electric has identified two potential target markets. Now try and understand. हमने segmenting कर लिया. Now from segmenting we are moving to targeting. So it has identified how many two potential target markets. पहला target market कौन सा है? Environmentally conscious home owners. एक तो target market ये है. That we target those home owners who are environmentally conscious and they're looking for a lawn mower. And the second target market over here is professional landscaping companies. so all those companies who are providing professional landscaping services just like urban clap we will send somebody they will landscape your lawn so which positioning strategy or the statement is most effective for the second target market now try and understand we are targeting them we are not targeting them so it is saying so which positioning statement suits best with this target market try and understand the question very correctly right save time and money on lawn care with our electric mowers all electric the power electric the powerful electric mower that tackles any lawn size all electric your eco friendly choice for a greener future all electric the future of lawn care is here all electric the quite eco friendly way to maintain professional looking lawns so option a goes best now try and understand it is professional landscaping companies they are also very much focused on their professional image so when you say that bhaiya our lawn mowers are quiet and at the same time they are eco friendly and it also gives a professional to look to your lawns so this connects with their value delivery is professionalism in landscaping and that is what they are looking so it aligns best so a is the answer b could also have been one but we were supposed to pick the one which best suits so ye number 1 pe aayega aur ye number 2 pe aayega bilkul yes ye slightly thoda niche rakhenge but ye goes very well with the professionalism right so a is the correct answer the chosen positioning emphasizes that the key benefits of professional landscaper is what quite operations eco friendliness and a professional image that they trying to deliver 
to their professional approach. Chalo ji, I think that is it. Let's move to the next question. Question number 51. Let's have a look. All electrics initial pricing strategy. So, this initial pricing strategy is set at a premium compared to traditional gasoline man modes. So, US for gram petrol ko gasoline bolte hai, kahi gas bolte hai. So, it is saying that it is, uh, uh, it is basically set at a premium compared to the traditional gasoline mo mo uh, modes. This approach aligns with what? Is it like aligned with value pricing? Emphasizing the superior value proposition to the of the electric mower despite the higher prices. Or uh, penetration pricing, setting a low price to quickly enter the market. Competitive pricing, matching the prices of similar products offered by competitors. Cost based pricing basing the price solely on production and manufacturing costs or psychological pricing using price endings like rupees 19999 to influence the consumer's perception so i think that is a, a very easy question everybody has almost got it correct so a is going to be the answer you're talking about the value delivered obviously yes if it is a superior product it will come at a premium so, here we superior product, we are delivering a better value, it is more environment friendly, it is noiseless, it is cordless, it is this and that and that is why we are charging a slightly higher price and this is a well deserved price because the value offered is also superior. So, I think that also explains, let's, let's move to the next question, question number 52. All electric is considering two main distribution channels, we are considering two major distribution channels. The very first distribution channel is online sales with direct delivery. This is the first distribution channel. The second distribution channel is where they are partnershiping, they are partnering with local garden centers. So, the local garden centers are unke sang wo partners ban jai, which approach is more likely to reach the professional landscaping segment. So, online sales with direct delivery. Offering convenience and cost effectiveness for bulk purchases. Partnership with local garden centers providing local support and hands-on demonstrations. Exclusive distribution through a single national retailer. Selling directly to landscaping companies through a dedicated sales team. All of the above. 52 ka Pankaj is saying E. Okay. Ab aap yahan pe try and understand. E to answer hoga hi nahi. E cannot be the answer. Why? Because these two itself are contradictory. Do me se aap ek hi kaam kar sakte ho. In teen balki in charo me se aap dhang se ek hi kaam kar sakte ho. So E to hoga hi nahi. Try and understand. E can be eliminated right away. Now somebody is saying A. Somebody is saying B. Now please try and understand what is the nature of the business. All electric is a business. And are we selling it to the retail customers or are we selling it to the professional Landscapers, किसको बेच रहे हो आप? आप एक-एक customer को ढूंढ के बेच रहे हो घर जिनके पास घर है जिनके पास lawn है और आप ही selling to some group of professional landscapers. So what is it? A business is selling to a business or a business is selling to a customer? B two C है या B two B है पहले तो ये समझो जरा. What is happening over here? So basically you are selling it to businesses, right? So, you are not selling it to the consumers directly. You are selling it to the businesses. So, when you are selling it to businesses and not to the consumers, now when businesses sell to the consumers, so, wahan par network ka hona, it is important. In cases where you basically a business is selling to the consumers, there you generally have trade partners, channel partners, you need to have a network and that is why this can be eliminated and that is why this can also be eliminated. Now, these two could have been the answer that the company directly reaches the businesses, right? Now, try and understand. Here, it is written effective for bulk purchases. The moment you say selling directly through direct sales team, the cost is going to go up. Your product is becoming further costlier because you will be spending a lot on incentivizing on giving salaries. You can directly connect with them and then it becomes cost effective for bulk purchases. And convenient and cost effectiveness. It is already highlighting the benefits 
So option A is going to be the answer in this case, not D, not B, not C. Understood? Give me a yes in case everybody is, has understood why option A. Now try and understand all these could have been done. But the direction says, the instruction says you have to pick the most suitable, the best alternative. These are the alternatives. I am not saying that galat alternatives are. In ke through bhi kaam ho sakta hai. But the objective here is to find the best alternative, right? So we have to in a way rank them. All of them can be done. I am not saying they cannot be done. This can also be done. But in terms of the best alternative, this comes out to be the best alternative, right? I think everybody agrees to that. Now, can we move to the next one? Chalo ji. Let's go to the next one. And the last uh, question for the set would be to build brand awareness and engage with its target markets. All electric is planning to launch social media campaigns. Which content type would be most effective for attracting professional landscapers? So now it is going for a brand awareness activities and it is trying to launch social media campaign. You are trying to talk about all electric on social media. So what would be the content? Kis tarike se aap content banayenge on social media? You will talk about testimonials from celebrity home owners, user generated uh, content showcasing beautiful lawns, educational videos on electric lawn mowers, maintenance and tips for professionals, funny memes and uh, light-hearted content about lawn care, influencer collaborations with popular gardening personalities. I think everybody has now understood because a business is selling to a business. So, the content ka tone hona chahiye, that should basically provide education and tell them the tips how professional lawn mowers can maintain lawns. So, that gives a right connect and fit with the target audience. Ye tab kaam aate jab humare end users or humare homeowners hote. So, this is the best possible content that you can have and this is how you can align. So, I think C is the answer and C should be the answer in this particular case. B is not the answer. Why? Because हम user generated content नहीं करेंगे. Because the users are not going to, हम जिनको बेच रहे हैं, वो लोगों के लिए launch को maintain करेंगे, right? तो वो individuals नहीं है. And that is why B will not be the correct answer. C would be the correct answer. So, I hope you really enjoyed this session. And uh, hopefully by today or tomorrow, you will be having your results. Uh, let's, let's pray to God. सभी का हो जाए. And जैसे ही आपका result आएगा हम दुगनी मेहनत से आगे बढ़ेंगे. 50-53 questions हमने कर लिए हैं. In next session में we'll take it to 75 questions. और उसके बाद we'll take it to 100 questions, right? अगर आप अभी भी सोच रहे हैं कि book आपको help करेगी, book बिल्कुल help करेगी. But book is really be gonna be helpful only for your doubts now. If you start reading a book now, or if you've not been able to do one third of the syllabus in the book. I really am doubtful whether you will be able to complete the entire syllabus through a book. Course is going to be really, really helpful. Chalo. Yes. Chaliye. Bahut, bahut shukriya. Dhanyavad. Aap sabhi ka din shubho. All the very best. Take care and I am going to connect. Do not first forget to subscribe the channel. Press the bell icon. Taki jabhi bhi agle video ka notification aay. Aapke paas pahunch jai. Thank you so very much. Bye bye. God bless you. Take care.